what's up everyone? Welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm your host, Melissa New, with my co-host here, Mr. Chase Reynolds Hi. of Lens Rentals. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Let's just talk as if Mr. Joe McNally is not sitting right next Ooh. to us. Please carry on. <laughs> okay. I'll just, I can go to sleep standing up. Good. So this is early issue. in the morning. It is. Are you bringing your feisty this early in the morning? We'll see, Melissa. It depends on how good you are. Oh, okay. So, well, yes. game face on. <laughs> we want to talk about gear. So in addition to the D810, you said you just added that, that you know, recently here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else in your in your gear bag that's just kind of come around recently that you're like, I really see this hang around for a while? You know, this is a really cool product. Yeah, because he, he gets, you get rid of a lot of stuff. I mean, you kind of recycle. We there's do. nothing that you just want to keep a hold of. Huh? Well, there's one lens that I've had forever. And thank goodness for Mike Anscat in the Nikon repair department because mm -hmm. it's a 2814. Okay. And they stopped making it. And this is somewhat hearsay, so please take it at face value. I believe that it was an older style lens and it had lead in its construction and therefore became problematic uh, import and export kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So they stopped making it. Now they have another Fast 28, which I have not used, but I always loved having a Fast 28. It was a real go-to lens for me because a 28 is a beautiful environmental portrait lens. So I kept it around, but I couldn't use it very well because it had a big scratch on the back element, which meant it was no good except at 1.4, right. you right. know? Right. Uh, and Mike Anscat, finally, you know, I had been talking to him about it. He said, you know, I think I have, I came across some older parts. Give me the lens, let me have a while. And he basically kind of rebuilt it for me as a, as a wow. favor because I've known Mike for 20 years plus years and uh, now I have this lens again you know and it's not uh, you know one of the super fast focusing new lenses sure. and stuff like that but man 2814 sharp as attack I love it just wow. love it so that's been with me for about I don't know easily over 20 years well Joe tell us where we can find your work for people who have not seen Joe's work I would definitely check it out what is your website uh, www.midnighttatler.com <laughs> No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I knew you're it. from Vegas. I knew it. <laughs> Something. You uh, never know if you're serious. You just uh, never know. I'm just... M-I-D... I'm going to go with JoeMcNally.com. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. go with the obvious here. Yeah, JoeMcNally.com. I write a blog, JoeMcNally.com backslash blog. Uh, we have... In, ter in terms of gear, there's a, uh, uh, you know, a hot link on my blog, uh, Joe's Camera Bag. Just click on that. Nice. Basically, everything that we use or are current with, that's right there on those pages. Excellent. And it, definitely check out his work, but I, I am a big fan of his writing. And it's interesting to find out that you were going to be a writing major, or that's what you studied. So he has such a brilliant way of writing, has such a good way of teaching, and really puts things into um, good perspective and really something that I can relate with. So thank you for all that you put into your, your work and your writing. And we talked a lot about gear, D800, D810, lots of lenses. I definitely check out the folks over at Lens Rentals. Chase is a great guy, his team is working hard. You know, you don't have to buy all these things. Not everyone has the Joe McNally budget, but definitely check out lensrentals.com and, and try out some of these gear. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. No sarcastic yeah. remarks to, to close out. No, I just, it's just been swell to see you again, it's Melissa. It's been so <laughs> swell, Joe.